Good morning. Good morning. I'm Amanda. And I'm Peggy. I almost said I'm Mandy. It's all Friday. I'm, uh, I'm Amanda. Uh, and, and, and I'm Peggy, and you're watching the Junction, Junction Fiber, Fiber Mill Millcast. Yeah, and, and uh, we're at uh, about 30 minutes from the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival from starting, but we're both recovering from just fun, fun, fun. I know. Well, first of all, I think people are going to want to know what I'm wearing for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to show off my Lindell sweater. It's done. It's done. It looks like a million bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm very wearing, excited about it. I'm what wearing, are you wearing? A, This is a Thea Coleman's. I've worn it a whole lot of times. I think it's Hudson Valley. Um, every time I wear it, somebody asks what's the pattern, and every time I'm like, I don't quite remember. We'll but, find out, yeah. and we'll link yeah, it in yeah, the yeah. show notes. Um, yeah, so Millapalooza last night. It Gee was whiz. so awesome. We had the best time. It, um, yeah. And I think other folks did too. Yeah. It, it just, it was, I, I keep using the word magical. It was magical. The, the weather was perfect. Your Cody's band, name of the band. Still Hill. Still Hill was incredible. The tacos were amazing. Yeah, uh, trail breaks, uh, they just knocked it out of the park. The tours went well. Tours went well. Um, I held down the fort at the mill along with some of our amazing staff, um, but I was yeah. on for tours six in a row. Yes, yeah, six in a row. So I got really good at that <laughs> tour on the half hour. <laughs> and I was up uh, just making sure flowers were ready. The, and I yeah. didn't see the site until all the guests had arrived because I shut down at the mill yeah. and I came over. And when I rolled up the driveway, Leah's brother was helping people park, and I, I rolled right up, and there was the scene of just yeah. all these lovely folks I had met at the mill earlier, right? eating their dinners, drinking their wine and beer, enjoying yeah. the beautiful view. And in fact, yeah. there was even a hot air balloon. Did you see that? No! Oh my God. So there was a bunch of us like looking over the ridge. There was this beautiful I hot air balloon just sort of descending cue, in the cue distance. Cue the balloon! Oh, it was like yeah. just so awesome. And then I'd look around and i see like, oh, there's Ona. Um, the pattern designer of the sweater and then I looked to my other side oh there's Erica Field who designed our nourishment cowl it was just so fun to have so many of our friends here and oh there's the woolly thistle folks right, right. over there yeah so uh, aside from just meeting some of you guys who came out to Millapalooza it was just so fun to have this event before the festival craziness that was really ours yeah. to like yeah soak oh it and in. Yeah, I was waiting for you to yeah. talk about this. Yeah, okay. Uh, Amanda had said, you know, we really ought to have a creamy machine. First of all, I'd never had a creamy, a maple creamy in my life. So I didn't really know what the big deal was. But we got a, we rented a maple creamy machine. Peg, the sorcerer and, of all things. She's <laughs> like, you want a creamy machine? I got your well, creamy we'll machine. We'll get you a creamy machine. <laughs> and I had to set it up, make sure it worked. So, of course, I had to test it. Uh -huh. And so no one's around. And I've made myself this little thing. And I bite into it. And I'm like, oh, oh, my <laughs> What have I been waiting for? No, I had two last night. Yeah. That was definitely like, I had two with, and one of them I got a refill because you were like <laughs> trying to clean it because we actually needed to return that machine that by night. the end of the yeah, night. So last Leah, night. Oh, thankfully, oh my God, yeah. like did was the hero and yeah. did the drive. But you were like trying to get us all shut down by eight o'clock, and I was like, "One more creamy, one more." We had people taking Tupperwares and filling, filling it them full up. Of cream. It was like being kids in the candy it store. Was it was very much so. so fun. Yeah, the whole evening was just um, like I said, magical. And so thanks everybody. And who, everyone wore who their out. sweaters. It was like perfect weather yeah. to like put yeah. your sweater on. Yeah, you know, we had a camp. We had the solo uh, stove going, and at one point there was a big circle of people sitting around. And I thought, what, what are they telling ghost stories? It was. It, it was I think just so everything great. about it was was fantastic. But now. We're, now, <laughs> yeah, right, our folks are coming by. Yeah. We got some of our friends say hi. But anyways, so I think we're gonna t show you a little bit more um, throughout the festival today. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll we'll check back in. Um, let's let's note to selves. Check back in at the end of the day today. Yeah. Beginning of the day tomorrow. Yeah. I'll take some footage throughout the day. Yeah. And, um, it's turning into it. It was absolutely pea soup driving to the festival this morning. It was but, foggy, uh, the but fo it, it was The beautiful. fog is burned off, and it is just a glorious fall day. It is so beautiful. Yeah, and I just time. had the most amazing breakfast sandwich. Yeah, the same. Did yeah. not disappoint. We have yeah. the same ones every yeah, year. But, so we both had this giant <laughs> breakfast sandwich and then I, I sit down at the table where we're going to record and what the hell is this? Here, it's, it's a little stuck. stuck here, you go yeah. for it. What? Ah, look what's here. On. Look at this. What is it? It, is, it looks uh, like maple. maple glaze. Oh my God, look at the level of glaze on this. This is not, they oh don't God. skimp on the glaze. Uh, I'm going to try to buy it. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Good. All it's right. Very sweet. Very good. All right. I'm gonna. Tr I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a bite of mine off camera. We'll see ya. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> All right, you got it.
Good morning! Sheep and Wool Fest is today and it is shaping up to be a gorgeous day. Look at those sheep! I'm making a mess. <laughs> I think half of it's gonna land in my lap. Here I'm gonna take you on a little walkthrough of our building. Everyone's just sort of busily getting ready. That's gorgeous. Must be the Coopworths here. That's beautiful. Romney Blueface Lester. Yeah, this sheep is 10. Still producing nice wow. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Love the like marling. <laughs> yeah, love the touch of spin. Yeah. Dyed with marigolds. Love that. For folks to come learn about felting, how cool is that? All this beautiful dyed wool. If you're looking for alpaca yarn, this is a great source. Snowshoe Farm Alpaca. We've been booth neighbors with them for a long time. Look at their gorgeous, so soft yarn. Vermont alpaca yarn. Look at this beautiful wool. These are the winners of the fleece contest. That's beautiful. What, it, what will it become? It will become cushions for a chair. <laughs> okay, so it is about lunchtime or a little thereafter, and check out the food lines. Lots of great food vendors. Check out that fall foliage. I mean, unreal. This time of year in Vermont, it is just all about foliage. Ooh, Grandview Farm always has some beautiful fleeces. Let's see if I can get my fingers in it. Good morning, a little chilly. It is. I'm like all toasty warm yeah. in our sample bin. Yeah, <laughs> sample. and I'm wearing my red sweater with the buttons. Yeah, I should uh, say this is uh, the, the yeah. un, a soon to be released Thea Coleman called Cinnamon and Bourbon that we just had made up with our Making Tracks Ochre and our brand new it's, Farm Fresh Romney, which yeah. is from Vermont. So um, it's adorable. Uh, it's so comfy. I think yeah. whenever we're ready to part with this sample, I'm going to snag it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, why not? Why yeah, not? Yeah. So it's uh, day two at the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival. Mm -hmm. A yeah. little more crisp this morning. I love it. I'm having, uh, it's just like the best time to be a wool lover when you wake up. And like this morning, I like went and let our chickens out and I yeah. went and checked on our sheep and just had a minute where I was like, ah, oh, this is my life. I yeah. have my sheep at home. I come to this beautiful fiber festival. What a dream! <laughs> it's pretty damn How's perfect, that for some isn't it? propaganda? <laughs> yeah. Hey, is it propaganda if it's true? It is. I don't know. It so I, even as we sit here, the fog is burning off. The blue sky is starting to peek out. I think we're going to have another absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. day. What a day we had yesterday. Yeah, I want to say to like just anecdotally, when I was sort of running around to get myself a little caffeinated beverage yesterday, I went up to the Tunbridge General Store, which yeah. is just up the hill. Very cute. And as I was coming back, this woman who had just complimented me on my outfit, which was so sweet, she was um, talking to the woman doing the gate check over yeah. there, who was saying, "Oh, are you coming back?" And because she, she was giving her money, and she's like, "Oh, are you coming back? You can you can just get in for free." And she's like, "Oh no, I forgot to get a stamp or whatever on my way out." And she's like, "And honestly, I love this event so much. I'm thrilled to be paying you for two tickets." So I was like, "That's how much people love this event." And wow. She's like, wow. "Take my eight dollars or whatever." It <laughs> wow, is. that's something. That's yeah. something. So just a little snapshot on what the vibe yeah are, vibe and i love here. that you're bringing up the general store every town well a lot of the towns still have their general store uh -huh. in, in vermont and they're um 
they're just quintessential Vermont. Yeah and, yeah, and I saw some people getting maple creamies there yesterday, and usually I'm like a maple creamy at the fair person, but yeah. honestly, it's equidistant from our booth, the general <laughs> yeah. store, yeah. There, and the lines yeah. are way shorter in the general store, so I may be up there today to get my, my festival your, your creamy. Fix, mm -hmm. Your fix? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both have already inhaled our breakfast sandwich. There's Equal, Oh my god, it's the reason I'm like, okay, I'll get there early, because at least I get my maple breakfast sandwich. Yeah, there's um, one, two, three, folks. four, there's about five, six um, food vendors here here and um, so vendors the, the, it hasn't opened yet so you have a chance of buying something but yesterday the lines at the food uh, they're always uh, trucks, like wow uh -huh. yeah that's why you gotta front but, load your, your yeah right, exactly make your plans I, I um, saw one of the folks who coordinates the um, the festival and she said this morning that yesterday the first day was up 35 percent in attendance which is just outstanding the parking yeah. lot was chock-a-block um, and we had a great day we did. We met so many folks yeah, so in the booth. New folks, but a lot of folks that are watching the Mill Cast yeah. came to say how yeah, much wanted they to know it. how the Millapalooza so went, sweet. and of course the Millapalooza was a gas. Yeah, we haven't made a, a lot firm of decision. Very but... kind about saying you guys must be exhausted, I <laughs> and like, I was. Yeah, we were tired, but also there's just like an energy that keeps you going it's at true. these things. So yeah, so and, and it's totally worth it. We were both wearing our Ona sweater, and she's got a, a booth here, and the vibe of the, <laughs> the oh, Lindell sweater. The Lindell sweater. <laughs> Man, it was it was very fun to get the synergy going. People going to her to say, "How much do I really need?" and back and forth. So yeah, because she's yeah. literally like you can see her tent out the window from our booth. Yeah. Uh, so it was just awesome and. I had a lot of comments of people looking at my sweater being like, I love what you're wearing. I've seen everyone wearing that sweater. In reality, uh, yeah. I think it was like us, Oda, yeah. and then a few test knitters. A few test knitters, <laughs> Hannah, and yeah, and it, yeah. yeah so but that's it, all right. It was, um, but it was great. It's it's totally mission accomplished on making it a thing yeah. you know, for this festival. So totally. we're just really thrilled. I got to see Emmett. Who was making his second Linda? Sweater. I know he's he doing the cardigan. Cast off. And is he doing it in a funky? Yeah. It's. I think he's doing the undyed making tracks light, or yeah, the undyed making tracks light. So our sport with, weight held together with the cowgirl blues and terracotta, that yeah. mohair silk blend. That was and incredible. Boy, is it looking. Yeah, it's it's, it's so, so nice gorgeous. And fuzzy. Ooh, I cannot wait to song. see yeah. the finished product. So um, a lot of people came. In, well, I gotta say, I think you were. I don't know. You were maybe taking some pictures. A, um, a husband and wife came in. He's, I feel terrible I did not get their names written down. He has just recently retired and is a, likes to, as a hobby, do woodworking. And they came into the booth with these three adorable wooden pieces. And he thought they, they would be for toothpicks. And she was like, oh, no, they're for knitting needles. Look at that. Isn't that they're adorable? So cute. They're so nice. And they nice said, and they please give so this to soft. your staff and we should oh. get you a few more. It was just oh, geez. I can't unbelievably imagine the time thoughtful. And care that went into making each of these. And right. Wow. So yes. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I so I cool. loved um, when I walked outside of the te uh, the building at some point yesterday, I noticed a group of folks sitting in a circle yeah, knitting, knitting. And I overheard, I think it was like an intro to knitting yes. class because I heard the instructor saying, OK, now do your first row and right. then wait for everybody. Right. And I thought, <laughs> yeah. how perfect to be in this Absolutely. scene, enjoying the sheep. You've got the live music right there, and you're outside with the foliage all around, right. learning to knit. I, and I had another woman stop by the booth, and you know it was late in the day, so we weren't busy at all. And she was like, "What do you guys offer classes? Where can I learn to knit?" And yeah. I was like, "You know what? I Wait. love to hear people yeah. excited to get started with knitting. Yeah. You know, we don't offer classes, but I gave her a whole list of we things. Did, you know, that there was a time when we were first getting going, we thought, "Oh, and, and we'll do classes." And I, I'm not saying it's off the table. I don't know I just, when, I don't but know where are the people? Maybe, maybe I'm underselling my skills or your skills, but like, I'm not a, a knitting teacher. I've, I've <laughs> taught, I've taught with a with another good friend of mine, Jerry Williams. She and I did a, a okay. intro to knitting, and um, I I like doing it. You know, it's it's challenging. You know, when you first get going, the concept's hard. Your hands don't seem in the right place. And the way we started is we already did the cast on, mm -hmm. so we handed you a needle, a needle with the cast with, on yeah, it. so you was just focusing on how to do the stitch, and then we got to okay. the yeah. So there's a way, but maybe someday, or maybe yeah. we do something even you know through YouTube or something too. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see. I also love to see all the kids and, and yeah. old kids uh, out at the booth. Wait a minute. Um, what about the woman that came in with? Who we no, called I was gonna say. Let me finish. Okay. Felting, the felting that was going on down at the end of our yes, um, yes, the end of our building. Yeah. Their blue heron, blue heron farm farms. is leading a little felting tutorial, it's, and, and it's they free. Just have a you ton just, of fiber, and if yeah. I'm mistaken, a lot of that is ours. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we've donated big bags in the past of, um, of sort of scraps of of dyed fleece, 
and they're over there felting away yeah. all day long. It was so yeah, fun and you could see. just you could just pull up a chair and sit down and give it a try. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what were you gonna say? Well, we were talking about the kids that have been coming into the booth. Well, and there was this one woman that came in with a little papoose with the tiniest baby, and I forgotten who I was talking to. We both were like. Was it born in the parking lot? Oh, and then I immediately was like, I need to meet that baby because I've been away from my Six, baby for 16 days old. I know, and this yeah. mom also had a, a, less two -year -old. Than, a less than two year old with her, so we were in a very situation, <laughs> same situation six months ago. So I was like, I have to meet this person. Yeah. So I talked to her for a while. I also got to speak with, uh, speaking of moms and daughters, um, moms and kids, uh, the woman who came in with a 13 year old daughter who had on this, like, lace weight or sport weight like beautiful shawl with some lace work in that she oh. knit herself this teenager wow I was so impressed excellent and just Sorry, you know that. into the fiber arts and and i think it's just so fun because clearly the mom's really into it we've met her before i think we've done she's part of the green mountain like knitting yep. guild so yep. we did some processing for her but the daughter too was just like so rocking the fiber and she you know with the rest of the youthful accessories but then like this beautiful knit um pink like variegated yeah. shawl i thought that was so cool very nice yeah so you ready for another day um yes i'm oh i want to talk about paula hi paula hi. <laughs> you're on camera <laughs> how's it going it's going great yeah day. beautiful 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 oh. gave a talk it was well attended excellent it's excellent 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 oh i've got to take a close-up on what you've got here you've got your beautiful ellie mary I have my Ellie Shrine, actually. Oh my goodness. Uh, too. Oh, Paula Aaron, if, if you remember, Paula was the one who shared her marvelous story about Ellie May yep. uh, and uh, her losing, losing her sheep. I'll get we'd be even thinking of it. Uh, and she is really, um, you know, committed now to tell her story and has begun a journal slash the beginnings of her book. I think she's made a lot of progress. And she had a live reading yesterday that was extremely well attended. And, um, she's and she just... had yarn for sale from Ellie May, I saw yes. yesterday, which I was yeah. shocked. I was like, it's not all sold out. I think yeah. she pro it probably isn't available uh, anymore. Yeah. No, <laughs> but she... when I went by, I got to see some Ellie May yarn, yeah. and it was just it was, fabulous. She's having a great, uh, a great show. Yeah. Uh, and very fun that she is now ha kind of building out a platform to share her story with other people. Yep, yep. Um, uh, so it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I came home yesterday, and Cody and my step or my uh, mother-in-law Natalie were asking how it was. I was like, where to even begin? Yeah. It was such a day. So yeah. they're gonna come by oh, today right. and check out the festival. As you guys all know, Natalie's now a big-time knitter. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if she's. Oh yeah, she was at Maryland. So this is her second. This will be her second fiber festival. But it's a different. It's a different flavor. Totally different. And yeah. the weather is way better. <laughs> I was at Maryland this year. Oh God, so. that's right. That rain, rain, rain. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, so we're we're really excited to be here. We're. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna hope to step out and do uh, some recording about what day two looks like. And yeah. Shape it up to be fantastic. Yeah. The, 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 it's it's chilly enough that the wood stoves are going. You can see the smoke rising out of a couple of the houses, and yet the blue sky is popping out there and the leaves are turn have turned are turning that's one more wow. anecdote yeah when i was walking up to the general store because you walk up a hill i saw some folks up there like enjoying their creamies or lunch or whatever and yeah. they're sitting on the hill looking out because the the fairgrounds are kind of yeah. in a little bowl yeah nestled um, between ridges yeah and so if you go up on the hills you really get a nice yeah. view of the foliage on the hill above the fairgrounds and they were up there i don't know they must not have been local they're like can you imagine these people live here and this is what they get to see every day because you know there's houses and stuff Stuff right in Tunbridge. Right. I was like, yep, yeah. yep, we're pretty dang lucky. Very lucky. Very lucky. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. so we're gonna enjoy day two. Yeah, day two. Sheep and wool, and then uh, and then we'll see you on the other side of it. Yeah. Here we are at the booth. You can see we've got our new Jacob Twist sample here. That's the petite knit melange men's sweater out of our Jacob Twist. I love how it turned out. It's our festival favorites. Then we've got our sport weight all set up here, along with some of the samples. And then we've got our wall of making tracks, DK. Check it out. And then we've got our solid line of DK. We've got some hats. Check out this fun pillow. Same motif as that sweater. And we've got Peggy. <laughs> Getting ready. In for the countdown. <laughs> Okay, we're finally making it to the animal barn. 
and I'm really excited because this is one of the best things about fiber festivals is that you get to touch some animals. <laughs> Whenever I have like a really hard test, when I was in Copenhagen, there was like this show with a bunch of free roaming sheep and goat and alpaca, and I'd go to hang out with them, and I really miss them. All right. I know. This is an Angora goat. Doing her thing. Golden. Okay, there's some more animals over here. We're gonna go take a look. Ooh, okay, Icelandic lambs. Oh my god, hi cuties. They look so warm. No, can I pet you? Oh, they're like I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, and over here we've got some, let's see, oh, here we go, some more cuties. Hi guys! Some sheepskins, ooh, check out this beautiful crimp on that. Let's see, oh. Okay, come on. Oh, these are some cuties. <laughs> See there, Romney, CVM, Rommeldale. Hello. <laughs> you really want a pet. There we go. How you doing? Good. The festival is officially over. So we are always packed. a little sad. Yeah. Oh, man, it was a great one. What? Uh, just one of our all-time bests. Yeah, I think um, so. I mean, the crowds. And there the were serious crowds. Food, the music, yeah. it was all, everything was performing, yeah. the foliage, we talked about it already, folks, but yeah, I have to say, we've been doing, this is our third Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival, I think, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm watching trailers pull out. We're, we're all packed up, and as is everybody else, and I'm watching a trailer just, just about trying to car. clip a car. Yeah, nah. It, and the but, problem um, is, when you're packed up, all you want to do is get on the road. But we're here to tell you about today before we yeah. get on the road. But I just I wanted to say after three years of doing this, what's really fun is that it's not just about coming and like selling our yarn and meeting no. people. It's also about like reunions with fiber friends. Yeah. And there were so many here. Everywhere yeah. I turned today was like, Oh, hey Amanda from Prado de Lano Farm. Yeah. Like, hey Siri the Shearer. Yeah. Hey, like yeah. our you I, know, I, designer friends. I think it must be a little bit how carny people feel oh, when totally. they're or like know? um like Ren Fair, like Renaissance Fair. Yeah, you're exactly. Just like, you're in a very specific industry. Yeah. That kind of does their own thing all year. Right. And, and these then are people that sometimes you only see once a year or maybe three times a year at these festivals. Yep. And um And this is the first one of the season, of course. So yeah. a lot of them it's not a bittersweet goodbye. It's sort of like No, because you're gonna see them at Rhinebeck. Yes. Yeah, at Rhinebeck. <laughs> and a lot of them will yeah. probably be at the New England Fiber Festival of New yeah. England too. So But man, thanks to all the folks that came by and, yeah, and said hello. Wow, oh wow. Yeah. Um it just it just is a reminder that we're part of a big community. You know, yeah. when you're at the mill and you're just, you know, doing your thing, it's not that you forget, but you're you you're not as aware of it all the time. It's and then you come here and you yeah. go, yeah, we are part of a big community. Yeah, and and just seeing people in real life is so special. Like yeah. we love to get comments on the millcast. We love to connect with you on yeah. social and everything, but there's just really something to be said yeah. for in real life relationships and yeah. And when people oh, come man. in and stand there with what they've knit, I, I the highlight for me was Pink Pony Club. Oh Holy man, this, this woman came in with this beautiful Kate, uh, Caitlin um, Hunter. Yeah, Boylan Knitworks design with this like floral pattern in yeah. Pink Pony Club. I and think I think Autumn is in the title. I I don't remember. But anyway, lots of great uh, great things. Um, I want to show a great thing that I found. <laughs> this is hilarious. So, it's not hilarious. I get, can we're going to take this very serious. What it is? It's something I haven't seen before at a fiber festival, so of course I had to have it. It is a meditation cushion from Grandview Farm, and this is made out of felt, wet felted um, Gotland, Gotland wool, and they've got a beautiful little floral design. I don't know if you can see, but I'm not a huge meditator. I've dabbled, okay. but I, now I have now uh, you've got a inspiration. fancy new tool. So yeah. it's filled with organic butt weak holes or okay. husks or whatever it is. So it's like nice and firm. All right, so do you put it on your head? 
<laughs> I'll demo. I'll be oh. even taller than oh, you. Oh, now she's even Actually, taller. Actually, this is what you need to sit yeah, instead here. of your ream of paper. So for those that don't <laughs> oh, know. Oh my goodness, I'm a giant. Yeah. Peggy and I have a height difference, but you wouldn't yeah. tell on the mill cast. And actually people come into the mill and they're like, oh my God, you're so tall. I would have never guessed yeah, cause that. Yeah, because I'm sitting on a ream yeah, of I'm paper. Yeah, I'm 5'10", folks. 10 and a half. And I'm 5'2". <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm excited about my cushion because I've been yeah. just like yeah. slumming it on it's, the floor yeah, whenever I try to okay, sit down. Okay, it's embarrassing to say this, but I actually bought yarn here. Uh -huh. I mean, how can you buy yarn when you run a wool mill? Oh, I know. You want to support your fellow vendors. Yeah, I know. And you get sick of what you're I know. Doing it's not that I got sick of it. I just got inspired by what this woman had, and I, 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 I bought it. Yeah, but it's packed away somewhere. It's, yeah, it's packed away. <laughs> it's purple. I can tell you that. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's a combo. Uh, there's like a wool yarn and a... And, and a silk mohair, and yeah. they're di they were dyed together, so they're a dead match, which we don't yeah. have at the mill, and I have ideas. There you go. So, yeah. So, anyway, a, a fabulous day. The weather... Just perfect. There's a breeze in the air right now. The drive home is going to be exquisite. Um, so is the cocktail that I'm going to have when I hit the yeah, door. Yeah, I'm deciding if I linger just a minute longer at the Tunbridge General Store and get a creamy on my way home. Oh or my! If I God. Go straight home to my family. I just don't want. I don't want to let it go quite yet. You know, it just it's been such a fun time. So it, yeah, it is. It is something else. And, and it's. Um, oh, I should what, say the oh, kids came today. I didn't even mention did that. That's right. Uh, the kids came with my with my mother in law Natalie, and I think they had a good time. Our friends Doug Doug and Irene just so happened to be um, up at a wedding in yeah. Burlington, so they managed to stop by. So it was fun to take a little bit of a break. I got to try. The fried cheese curds. You did? I did, and they and are how do they stack legit. up? Legit, they are up there in top five fried cheese curds the, I've ever had. The official had. place for uh, fried cheese curds, is, as Wisconsin. we all know, is Wisconsin. But this gal that started this booth is a Wisconsin gal. Oh well, then. And it, I can tell you, they are. They're I very didn't good. know that. And in case you didn't know, fried cheese curds go with ranch dressing, <laughs> not marinara, not ketchup, ranch dressing. Okay. So that's what we got, and they were great. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> You know, I just had a thought. I don't know how many folks who are watching this are, are familiar with Jackson Brown's song that he plays at the piano when the guys are all packing up his um, his gear from a concert. Do you know that song? Oh, nope. it's a classic, and he's sing. I can't sing it, so I, but he's talking about it's just staying just a little bit longer as they're all packing up. And that song is in my head right now as yeah. I'm watching cars pull it's out kinda, and people it's, packing up. It's nice to have a reason to linger and chat because yeah. otherwise, and this has happened in years past. Peg is kind of the queen of like GTFO. You're like, I'm getting the f out of here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, especially when we're at a festival where we know we still have another two hours. Oh, God. Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. I'm pretty God. sure we have our Airbnb through Monday and I probably will stay. We'll see. We'll see. Last time we went home we in drove the home. U Haul. Well, let's not talk about Rhinebeck. Let's stay in the moment. <laughs> okay, Vermont, the moment. Vermont, 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 our lovely little yeah. festival. Just a, just a great, yeah. great weekend. So if you missed it this weekend, we hope this enticed you yeah. to think about a trip for next year. We know leaf peeping season can be expensive with accommodation, but if you book ahead, I mean, yeah. you just can't beat or it. Or camp. So. Or camp. They have camping right here. There's camping everywhere. It's amazing. Yeah. So, all right, all right, folks. We will see you next week. We'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye.